The International Monetary Fund has raised India's growth forecast for the current fiscal by 30 basis points to 6.8% from an estimated 7.8% growth for India for FY24. But even at 6.8%, the estimates are below RBI's 7% GDP growth forecast for FY25. Thereafter, growth is seen slowing a tad to 6.5% in FY26 according to the IMF, which says that growth in India is projected to remain strong with the robust reflecting its continuing strength in domestic demand and a rising working age population. India's consumer price inflation is also seen slowing to 4.6% in this fiscal and to 4.2% by the next, not too far off from RBI's own estimates. Now, on the global front, IMF expects less economic scarring from the pandemic for most countries than it earlier expected, with the exception of low-income countries, suggesting that the poorest countries in the world are still unable to turn the page from the pandemic and the cost of living crisis. Global growth is expected to hold steady at 3.2% this year and the next, but the latest forecast for global growth five years from now at 3.1% is at its lowest in decades. The bulk of the decline reflects a fall in prospective growth in GDP per person, which is down from a medium-term forecast of 3.9% that was made before the global financial crisis to 2.1% as per the latest projections. For advanced economies, growth is projected to rise to 1.7% in this year and 1.8% the next, while the emerging market and developing economies' growth is expected to be stable at 4.2% for both of those years. On inflation, IMF says global consumer price or retail inflation could fall from 6.8% last year to 5.9% this year and 4.5% the next year. Advanced economies are likely to return to their inflation targets sooner than their emerging market counterparts, though. Risks to this global outlook are broadly balanced. There are downside risks from geopolitical tensions, persistent inflation, financial stress, China's recovery faltering and so on, and upside risks from short-term fiscal boost in the context of elections in many countries, productivity increase from artificial intelligence, etc. Now, while the policy responses from countries will have to be tailored to their needs, IMF does warn that as the global economy approaches a soft landing, the near-term priority for central banks must be to ensure that inflation touches down smoothly by neither easing policies prematurely nor delaying too long and causing target undershoots. Inform decisions with comprehensive analysis on the go. Strengthen your portfolio with real time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV 18. Now streaming live 24 7 on YouTube.